Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you will stick around by subscribing to my channel below. And if you're a returning subscriber, I thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos. So this week is the actual week of Christmas and I have out a few items. I have out these two sticker sheets and these are by one of my favorite illustrators, Tawana Simone. This one I actually used last year. This is Chanel and this one is a brand new one that I haven't used and this is Dominique. So I'm thinking of combining some of the stickers in each one of these packs to create something for this week. I have to say that this has actually become one of my favorite items to use for my spreads and this is by the Crafter Square and it's just a paper pack. It has different types of cardstock, papers, different sizes, different textures, and I got this from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, if you've been watching my channel, I've been using this in the last couple of spreads. I don't know, I just love this, this entire pack and all the different varieties of paper. So this week I pulled out this sheet of paper and you can see it's kind of textured. And it has like these little speckles of this like red or a pink type of color in it I want to say it's textured in that way so I thought it would match with the color scheme of these two sticker packs with these two girls here as you can see next I do have out some sticker books I have out this capital chic design sticker book and this just has some monthly stickers and numbers and the days of the weeks and things like that so i was thinking of using this i have a happy memory keeping this is colorful boxes and i also have out happy year and these three are by the happy planner and as always i have out my tools my whiteout my scissors my tweezers and this is the Add Tech Black Glue Runner. And this is what I use to adhere anything that's not a sticker into my planner. I also have out this red ribbon. This is not a washi, this is actual ribbon. And I'm going to actually use it as a washi by adding some tape to the back of it. But I do have this out, and this is also by the Crafter Square. It's just some regular glitter ribbon. The only issue is that it does shed a lot, so I'm just going to try to work around it and still use it anyway. And I also have these Santa hats, which I also got from Michael's last year sometime. So I believe that's pretty much it for everything that I may or may not use. If I use anything else, of course, it will be listed down below in the description box. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's spread. So first, I'm going to figure out how much of this paper I want to use in the spread. And I'm actually going to use Dominique. I'm going to use her in the spread. As my focal point and as the doll of interest in the spread, I guess you would say. So she's pretty tall. So I'm thinking I'm going to probably use enough. That way she can be standing on top of this and this be the background. So it looks like I probably have to cut off about this portion here. So I've laid down my sheet of paper and now I believe I'm going to take some of this ribbon and border off this bottom portion here. Okay. 
Okay, so I bordered off the bottom with a piece of this red glitter ribbon here. So I've added Dominique onto the spread here. So now I'm going to take this journaling sticker book. I was thinking I was going to use these circles as little ornaments. I'm not sure how that's going to work exactly. So now I'm just going to take my black sharpie and connect a string, so to speak, to the ornament. So it looks like they're dangling down. And to enhance them even more, I'm going to take some of these snowflakes. Okay, so that's what I have so far with the so-called ornaments there. I'm not sure how I'm feeling it, but I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> and now I believe I'm going to add some boxes here to the spread. Now I'm going to take one of these Santa hats and I'm going to try to take it apart so it's not so bulky because it's like a 3D sticker. And I'm going to try to cut it down to size so I can fit her head. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I have Dominique. I added a Santa hat to her. I added December. Tried to make some ornaments here that were dangling from the ceiling. I added some note boxes so I can take some notes. And I added this Hello Gorgeous pillow at the bottom. So now I believe I'm going to go ahead and add these Days of the Week stickers on the side. So now I'm going to take these Fancy Plans number stickers and I'm going to date the days of the week. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added the days of the week and the dates for the days of the week. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a Christmas sticker and a Christmas Eve sticker. So now in the happy year and I think I'm going to add some of these candy canes.
So now I'm still in the happy year and I'm gonna take this candy cane sticker here. So I decided to remove the Hello Gorgeous that was here, the pillow. And I replaced it with this gift box. I added this candy cane note box and a peppermint here at the top. And I believe I'm gonna take the Hello Gorgeous and actually cut it out and kind of place it next to her as if that's what she's saying. So I believe that is pretty much it for this week's spread. I did go ahead and decide to add this note sticker up top here on this end of this page. But I overall think it came out so cute. I'm trying to use more of the pink, more or less than the red, so it wasn't such a red theme. But I feel like it still came out with red being the majority of the theme anyway, but that's okay. And like I said, I tried to do some ornaments hanging from the ceiling here. Don't know if that's what they look like. They may not, but I'm still going to go with it. And I believe Dominique looks really cute with her Santa hat to represent her celebrating the holidays. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye, guys.